What I want you to do is uh, take a second here. I want you to watch this commercial on the Betamax, okay? And just think about just think about this. Like, what is this? Why does this matter? Why is why is Andre making us watch this bullshit? Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Grandma! Make a wish, Grandma! <gasps> <laughs> Ma, come over here. I have a special present from all of us. Mm -hmm. Sit down, Ma. I've got something I want you to see. Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> it's the Don Dillon it's my Show. Day on TV. Starring Briny Winkle Toes Dillon. The singing Dillon sisters. I will soon be there. Wow. And the juggling grandpa, Clifford Dillon. Tonight's show features Stewie Dillon's game winning home run and scenes from the Sarah Dillon wedding. That's me. And tonight, That's live from Great Neck, Long Island, Grandma Dillon's 63rd birthday party. If you think network television is a little boring, start your own network. With the Sony Betamax and the portable Sony videotape camera, you can do just that. You can record what you want, when you want, and watch what you want, when you want. It's the best family entertainment on television. One more shot, Ma. Come on, smile. This is the best birthday I've ever had. Why is this important? Like, why is the Betamax... What is this, right? You have to understand, like, when I was a kid and VHS cameras came out and you could record yourselves, you could watch, the, you know, watch stuff, you could watch your games, you could record stuff from TV. Like, I used to record all the naughty movies off of HBO and I used to record all the, you know, rap music videos from UMTV Raps, <clears throat> whatever, you know, and it was like game-changing technology, you know. But what happened was... uh uh the Sony Betamax was like a, in a format war with the um, VHS cassette, basically. And uh, the Betamax allowed you, again, you could use a camera, you could record events, and you could also record stuff, set a timer or whatever, and just straight up record stuff off of television. It allowed you to do some things like we do commonly, right? Record stuff off of television and fast forward uh, through the... Um, through the ads, it allows us to watch stuff when when we want, um, you know, versus, you know, at the time you had to have like a, you know, TV guide and you'd be like, oh, yo, the Price is Right is on, you know, at 11 o'clock, oh, shit, you know, I'm working, I can't watch it. And you couldn't watch it, you know. With the Betamax and the VHS, you could set a timer to like record that. So, anyways... Now, this technology was dope, gave consumers power. I think that's a very important thing. It empowered consumers in a very different way. Now, who didn't like this? Well, guess who didn't like it? Walt Disney Company and Universal, um, uh, Universal Studios. And they sued uh, Sony for this. And they, you know, they basically said, yo, like, you know, like at the time, like, you could only buy blank cassettes or video cassettes, and you could buy the recorder and the camera. Um, you couldn't go and buy commercial copies of, of movies because it didn't exist yet. There was no home movie market. The way you watched movies in the early 80s and 70s was you went to the theater. And movies would run in the theater for like months or years. Like I saw Return of the Jedi when it came out in 1983. Oh my gosh. Uh, and I saw it in 84, 85 because it was still in the theater. Uh, anyways, this case... Uh, Sony versus Universal is known as the Betamax, Betamax case, excuse me. And this was an important case, okay? So Disney sued, Universal sued Sony. And what ended up coming out of court, and I'm going to simplify this, is that the court basically looked at this, Sony claimed fair use more or less, and what they determined was that there was no actual market harm here. The court ruled that there was no market harm because why you watched you know Disney movies on TV or Disney shows on TV you watched you know movies when they played actually on TV or on cable networks or whatever this was a different this was a different market the other important thing you know was that Sony was protected by safe harbor so that they couldn't be you know responsible for um, you know things done by their 
you know, consumers or users of their products. But anyways, what really came out of this that's super significant is it allowed the uh, consumers to uh, tape TV shows for later viewing. This is called time shifting. Does this sound familiar? Uh, if you use a DVR, right, type technology, this is totally familiar, right? Allows you to record programs off, off, the, um, off the TV and watch them when you want at the behest of many advertising company, companies that spend money on advertising because you get to fast forward through for what they're paying for, which is your eyeballs and your ears. Okay, but allowed for time shifting. And I want you to know that for the test, what, you know, these different types of shifting. It also, you know, protected and made manufacturers not, um, not liable for what consumers did, um, even if it was piracy, like them duplicating mass copies. Um, it also allowed for space shifting, which is basically accessing media from different devices. So another type of shifting, so you have time shifting, watch at a different time, you have space shifting, which is access um, from different devices. Does that sound familiar? Because that's the cloud, right? That's like accessing you know, stuff from your iPad, your iMac, you know, whatever, whatever it is, uh, iPhone, phone, whatever, from di various devices you can access your, your content, whatever it is, okay? Lastly, format shifting, okay? Uh, a live broadcast, and then you could, sh you could record it onto a tape, or you could, you know, whatever. Um, format shifting is basically turning something that you own or have into another format. So an example would be, you're allowed to rip a DVD as a backup copy. You're allowed to rip a CD. You're allowed to rip a copy of a vinyl record you have or whatever, that's format shifting. These are all rights that you have and that you, that, you, that you enjoy, okay? And what came out of this was the home movie market. After Disney lost and Universal lost, like, oh shit, man, how can we compete? You know, people, you know, not that it was a lot of competition. So what they said is they're like, yo, we're gonna start selling our movies on tape, like on VHS, so people can buy them and bring them home and we'll, rent them we'll allow like rental facilities like rental stores to rent our movies we'll charge them a lot of money for a copy and as a license and they can rent our movies and so the whole movie market came from that came from piracy like they were not the industry was not seeing it that way they like their established market of the theater so this is really really like an important case and it allows you to um you know, basically for private use, make copies of stuff. It allows for Netflix, it allows for Spotify, uh, allows for a lot of the, the technologies that, that we do currently enjoy stem from the Betamax case, okay? Um, it allows you to, you know, um, basically have a backup of anything physical you own. So you could have a backup of a book you bought, a scanned copy of it, or an ebook. You can have a backup of a vinyl record you bought or a Blu-ray that you buy. So you're allowed to rip a copy of that for personal use, meaning backup or storage in case the book spine falls apart, in case the DVD gets scratched or the record melts in the sun or whatever. Okay, as you know, because the, the, the carrier of the content can be um, fallible, you know, can have issues. Um, so you're allowed to, you know, for private use, have a backup copy, just so you know that.